Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you how to model the hull of any shape using Rhino 5 and how to calculate the hydrostatics. First of all, I'm going to name my layers hull points, bow points, and stern points. Then I'm going to import my points and uh, if you guys want to know how I got them, you can watch my previous tutorial and you can find the download link in the description down below. Anyways, I'm uh, going to change my points to, uh, to the layer. and then I'm going to rotate them about the x-axis by 90 degrees and then move them to the origin point and drag them to be in the middle alright after that I'm going to name a new layer which is uh, which is for curves and then I'll go to SP lines and I'll right click to pick curve through points then I'll select my points and uh, I want you guys to make sure that my knots is SQRT chord and I'll show you later why let's select my another station then go to right view to check if the curves are tangent to the ground or not it's all fine I want to show you something really quick and select the same station but this time I'll choose chord instead of SQRT chord um, let's check again um, it didn't change uh, never mind it's uh, let's pick another station then go, go to the right view the curve is not tangent to the ground that's because of chord choice let's delete that curve and let's try the knots to be SQRT chord let's go to the right view it became tangent I'll join after that the points using the same tool Let's hide my stern and also my bow. After that, I'll connect my bow and stern using a pulley line. I will pick this time curve interpolate point. I choose that one instead of the normal SP line because it wouldn't work and I'll show you later what I mean but I could have used curve through points tool but both will be fine let's hide that curve and try the normal SP line tool can you guys see what happened? They are not intersecting. That's why I didn't use it. Mm -hmm. 
let's use the same tool in here And after that we need to, to create our surface. The first tool I'll uh, try is uh, sweep two rails and let's select my first and second rails, then select my cross sections. Go to the shaded mode by uh, tapping Ctrl, Alt and S at the same time. Go to properties and then uncheck the box. Let's check the surface and see if it's good or not. I'll pick zebra. It looks awful like uh, really it's not good to be honest. Let's try to adjust uh, my mesh. Still not good. I'm gonna delete this surface and create another surface using another tool. Which is Curve Network. And I'll select all my curves doesn't matter the selecting order, just select them. It looks kind of better, but not perfect. But yeah, good. It, it's uh, it's alright. First we need to switch faces and then analyze it using Zebra. Uh, it looks good at a stern and at the bottom but it is not perfect in the middle. Let's uh, use vertical strips instead of horizontal ones. It looks fine, but uh, still the middle not good. But it is way better than sweep to rail surface. You guys can also use loft. Try it and tell me how it worked. I'ma create a new layer for surfaces and it's color to be purple. I do not know why I paid that damn color. Anyways, let's change the surface to that to this layer and then uh, mirror the surface around the origin and join them together. After that, I'll go to solid to cap my shape from uh, up and down, switch the surface. And let's check the upper curves Oh, it, uh, it's not planner, that's why it didn't work. This curve should be straight. Drag the shape downwards because uh, that red line represents to me my water line. Go to Analyze, Mask Properties, then Hydrostatic. Select my shape and it should be joined and there is no naked edges. Well, I got my center of buoyancy, my volume displacement, and water line, and the center of flotation. Let's go to the perspective view. And as you guys can see, uh, my center of buoyancy is negative at X. Um, 0 at Y and uh, negative 2.8 at Z. The center of flotation will show me if the, the ship is going to trim by bow or uh, by stern.
Let's move my ship to make the center of rotation on the origin. Now we can consider the origin point at uh, center of rotation. Let's see where my midship at. If the midship was behind the center of flotation, it will be trimmed by forward and vice versa. I made a mistake here. I should have uh, I should have used the waterline length, not the uh, the length overall. So that's a mistake. That all we need to know. I'll show you uh, how to make the sharp edges fill it now and uh, I hope you guys like it.